All right, how's it going, Stop the Nation? So we got a new St. Patrick's Day event going on, and we got our green shirt on. We got our green. Oh, this isn't gonna work. I probably just look like a floating head right now. We gotta change this. Hold on. Let's get. Let. Hold on. All right, so we're ready for this. Uh, we put on a bit better of a colored shirt because we're not gonna be lost in the green screen with this. Uh, so we still got the green screen behind it for good luck on these packs. Um, but we're we've moved to a color very far from green to make sure that we show up and we can get you these packs um, and all this new content. Lots of new stuff going on right here. There's a community challenge for the first time ever. Uh, kind of interesting here. So if you do it 2.5 million times with all of us, which is quite a lot, but I believe in the community. I know we can do this. Um, if we complete the community challenge live event, it permanently increases all the St. Patrick Day players by one um, and gives you four lucky leaf tokens so the best part about that definitely is going to be that plus one boost to the players that's going to take your overall in the master player up to a 98 overall um, and the lucky leaf packs are in the store as well so we're going to go check those out we're going to open them up um, and then we are going to go to the plans if you do the live event um, what you end up getting is you get uh, either one of the uh, the uh, what is it, the, the Leafs, um, where you can get the pot, this towards the pot of gold, we can put in 50 of these green coins in order to get um, one of the Celtic Knots as well. So basically, um, this is what you got. There's also this new Mobile Master token that you can see here. It goes with the new Mobile Master um, over in our events at the bottom. You can see the new Mobile Master, that's the previous one, our new Mobile Master, Martial, and if you have seen his stats, 112, um, 112 acceleration and like 107 speed or something like that. It's like absolutely ridiculous. Um, but basically, this will be a really nice card to add on to the team. But you got to do 10 different events. And how you get that, um, first off, in this event, how you get the one is you need 15 of the knots, you need the 10 of the 40 clovers, and 100 lucky leaves. So it'll be a bit of a grind to get it for sure, especially if you want to go for this big master player. We got the right back Coleman, 97 overall, plus three short pass accuracy and plus two speed. So really nice boost in there. Um, but it's going to take a whole lot to get 300 four leaf clovers and 50 of the knots plus the player who you need to complete one of those nice little uh Celtic not plans. I'm guessing these are the ones where you can't get it different and you can see unauctionable as well uh, But also maybe not a bad player to get plus two short pass actually and plus one speed except he only gives those to all of the uh, All of the people in the uh, as the in the emerald team there So the, not the that's the one unfortunate part um, It's not to all of the other ones. It's just the other St. Patrick's Day players um, And then you have the emerald team down here same way as all the other ones put in the player put in the tokens Upgraded to get the higher overall player and I believe um, these ones unauctionable as well so it'll be interesting to see with all that unauctionable stuff going on um, how this event is but uh, I'm excited to try it out I'm excited to go in and, and see how this goes there's a whole bunch of different sets put the four leaf clovers in if you put in uh, four of them you get yourself a four leaf or four of the uh, lucky leaves you get yourself a four leaf clover um, and then you can also put four of them in for a chance at getting um, a Celtic knot and you get a St. Patrick's Day item so it'll be interesting to see what that's like but let's get into the pack let's get into this and see how we do in our pack luck right now um, lots of different packs our emerald players so we'll see who we get I'm sure everybody gets the same players that's usually how it works so we open up our first player and there's our emerald I actually really like the card art on these though uh, but yeah so everyone's gonna get the same one central midfield player um, which is not a bad way to start it off and we have the luffy luck Lucky Leaf Bundle, um, then the Lucky Leaf Packs here. So we're going to open up this bundle first, and we're going to see what kind of things we can get inside. Maybe open up a couple of these. Hope for some good luck in there. And we start off with an 80. There you go. What a way to start it off. So first one gets us our first player, and we get another Elite in there. So not a bad way to start off the pack opening, um, although I do really want to see um, some of these uh, knots and some of these things show up, because I think those are going to be hard to get. Four Leaf Clover right there, which is nice. So a Four Leaf Clover and pack number two. I'll take some four leaf clovers. I'll take some of those as we go and get another four leaf clover. So we're already two four leaf clovers in, um, but I do need to start getting some of those knots so that we can start to complete that Coleman lucky leaf out of that one. Not a good pack on that. So next pack, pack number five. It's going to get us, ooh, Lucky Leaf, and we get ourselves an Impact player. So the new Impact players um, seem to have come out, and we are on to the next pack. Another Lucky Leaf and nothing else there. So the pack luck is not going super well for us right now. Just that one, two good packs, I guess, at the start. And then after that, absolutely nothing. Um, just some lucky leaps and some other things. So unfortunate with there, but uh, hey, we'll at least be able to trade four of them in um, to get some other things to show you some of those other sets. So at the very least, we're able to use this to get you some other, uh, showcase some of the other sets and stuff. As we go, another 
Lucky, Leaf, and one Elite. So we only really got two Elites, uh, three Elites, I guess, if you count the player out of that pack. Uh, but there it is, another one. And Berardi there is probably um, one of the higher ones. I think he might actually be the highest one um, out of those. So that is a pretty good pull. I will definitely take that pull. Unfortunately, you can't auction them. Um, but we'll find out what we get for Leaf Clover. Lots of them. And then another duplicate there, which is unfortunate. I don't know what we're going to do with the duplicate since we already have one of them um, on the team. Which... It's kind of interesting, but hey, I also just noticed that the the lucky leaf packs they um, they boost the uh, they boost uh, they boost coins. Damn, that's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. Anyways, next pack again, a third one. Um, now I'm kind of. I hope I can trade these players in. If I can, I better be able to trade these players in for something else because if I can only quick sell them and that's all I'm getting is players, I hope there's another use for them because otherwise I'm gonna put them into the trash plan, which gets them like not a whole lot. And we've lost the ability uh, to uh, to open these packs right now, so we can't see what's in it. We can't see what the last player is. So I'm gonna have to do this. I don't know why this happens, but it seems to happen all the time on my uh, when I'm recording these things. So we'll go, we'll open up those packs um, in this team. So we'll go to our team here, go back to our team, look at our unclaimed items, and hope for some more luck in these Lucky Leaf packs. So next pack up, a four Leaf Clover, which is good. That's helping get us closer. I'm not really sure what I'm most excited for right now because, yeah, I want the players, but I also want those Clovers uh, so I can get closer to finishing that Coleman card. Um, but what I really would like is some knots. I don't even know if you can get the Celtic knots in here. I'm hoping you can. Um, but it's not really looking so good right now to pulling those Celtic knots out of these packs So on to the next one. We are going to get a there it is our first one So finally we get one of the ten that we need that's that's the little uh, man, if that is how hard it's going to be to get this, this is going to be very difficult to finish Coleman. We've opened onto our second one, De Bruyne there, and then nothing else out of that one. I'm a little, a little worried about trying to complete this Coleman since we've pulled two of these bundles and we've only pulled one knot out of that one. Lots of four-leaf clovers, but I'm pretty sure we needed 300 of them um, to finish the Coleman one. So we'll try the next pack, and the next one up gets us absolutely nothing except that impact player. So the last one up. What are we going to get in our topper? Our topper is going to give us... Oh my goodness, how many times are we going to pull that card? So, four leaf clovers and another duplicate card. So let's go see what we can do with some of these uh, some of these packs and these sets. Go complete some of those sets as well in the store. Um, and then what else do we have? We have the belief bundle. Um, and then we have some lucky leaf packs as well. So we're going to go. We'll see what we can do in the sets um, and the plans with what we've, uh, what we've got so far. So we have... Um, okay, we can play, trade in players. Okay, that's good. That is lucky. One to three Celtic Knots. I'm now okay with this. I'm okay with getting the duplicates in the player. That actually is really good. Um, and I take all of that back that I said about not wanting to pull the player multiple times now that I know we can get Celtic Knots out of it. So that is great. Um, I will take that. And we will put our duplicate player into this trade-in and see what kind of Knots we can get. One to three of them. So far, we haven't hit any duplicates, which is awesome. And we are opening up a bunch of these players trade-ins come on player trading get us more than one okay none of them got us more than one and a duplicate three right there so on to the next one we got two left and we're getting one on each one all right number seven um, I'll probably just keep putting them in um, probably since they're unauctionable they're not really I don't know they don't hold that much value but we'll uh, we'll hold the last one there you go two of them in that one eight and seven and let's see if we're getting any closer to finishing off this set so if we go down here to Coleman, we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five left to getting Coleman's first one, um, and we can do a re-roll as well. But I don't know if I want to do a re-roll because then uh, it's going to take away from all the ones that you need for you know his 97 overall and stuff like that. So we got our first knot, um, our four-leaf clover. If we go, how many clovers do we have? We have 24 clovers uh, that we can we can put in, and the clovers will get us. Oh, we can do a bunch of these. So if we put in four here. Um, you're just gonna get your clover. So one clover out of here. There does seem to be a cool down timer on that one. Um, and then on the next set here, our other set that we can do, we can put them into here and we can test our luck in the wishful thinking. So we're a wishful thinker. So we're gonna wishful think ourselves some lucky leaf. Wow, that was that was unfortunate. We really shouldn't have gone for that one. We should not have gone for that one as we go and we see what else we can, we can do here. So we did end up picking up the highest overall player that you can get 
uh, a 93 right mid. I actually probably will end up putting this into the set though because the problem for me is I already have unsellable right mid players that I don't really want to get rid of. So we're going to put Berardi in here and we're going to see how many um, we can get. Maybe we can get three this time or another one. But is it a new one? Is it a new one here? It is not a new one. But anyways, there you have it. Um, those are the packs. Those are the things you got in this update. I'm interested to see how this thing goes moving forward as we get closer to trying to get that Coleman completed. We're on our way to it. Um, and then also trying to get that Martial card because that one is going to be absolutely amazing. But thank you for checking this out and stopping by. It's been a pleasure as always. Stop D.